Hello and welcome to this course titled JavaScript Scopes and Closures in Depth. True to its name, this course covers two important concepts in the JavaScript programming language, scopes and closures. I think these two concepts are essential to understand when you're writing JavaScript applications, but the fact is you can actually write a lot of code without even knowing what the scopes and closures are and without understanding those concepts. Um, but still, I think it's important to understand these concepts because A, it lets you leverage these concepts and write more elegant code. And B, if you're writing code which doesn't work like you expect it to, having a knowledge of how these scopes and closures work is going to let you troubleshoot the problem and debug the problem and figure out what's wrong quicker. So this course starts off with an understanding of what scopes are in general. Scopes is a kind of generic concept. It's not restricted to JavaScript. It's there in pretty much a lot of programming languages. So uh, we're going to understand what scopes are and we'll then understand how scopes fit into the JavaScript picture. What are JavaScript scopes? What causes scopes in JavaScript? And then we're going to move on to understand the concept of JavaScript being a compiled and an interpreted language. A lot of people think of JavaScript as an interpreted language, but people fail to understand that there is actually a compilation step that happens like a fraction of a second before the interpretation step happens. So we'll learn what those two different steps are and what happens in each step. And then we're going to move on to closures. We'll understand what closures are, and we'll see that closures are something that happen whether you like it or not. It's a part and parcel of the JavaScript programming language itself. Uh, we'll see how it affects the scopes and uh, we'll see where closures can be used when you're writing code. So this is um, a slightly advanced course. Uh, I'm assuming that you're familiar with the JavaScript programming language. So that would be the prerequisite for this course. Some familiarity with the JavaScript language. You should have written some code. You should have an understanding of what objects are in JavaScript, what functions are. Uh, and uh, as a prerequisite, I would recommend checking out the JavaScript for Developers course that's available on Java Brains. Uh, if you haven't programmed in JavaScript at all and this is your first introduction to JavaScript, I would definitely encourage you to take up another course like the JavaScript for Developers course so that you're kind of familiar with the syntax and then tackle the scopes and closures uh, course. As for reading material, I highly recommend the series of books called You Don't Know JS by Kyle Simpson. These books are actually available online for free. Uh, there is a link to the GitHub repo, which has the entire text for these books uh, in the video description. So I highly encourage you to check it out. On that page, you also have links where you can purchase uh, paper copies of these books. So I hope you're excited to get started. Thanks again for deciding to take this course. This is Scopes and Closures in Depth.